Now, there is a growing involvement of women in improving agricultural production through fabrication of post-harvest handling machinery for other farmers. Agrofabrication is not only providing solutions for farmers, but also changing the perception of the youth toward agriculture as a viable and lucrative source of livelihood. Take a look. In efforts to address post-harvest losses among farmers in Iganga, women in the district have adapted agrofabrication and are creating post-harvesting handling machinery for their colleagues. These bring machinery closer to farmers and hence supports improved produce. These men jobs are better than those female jobs because we find that here at least you get money very fast and you know, in large amounts. But then for example, we take tailor or Hairdressing. They are good courses, but then you find that money comes in slowly, slowly. 55 that were assessed by, by DIT, and they all passed. Yeah, they all passed. Um, most of them were assessed at level two, and a few were assessed uh, on modular, and, and they passed. And again, we appreciate the partnership because uh, we are not so much uh, assessing at level two especially in uh, agriculture and other areas. But again, through say, we are able to do that. They are able to contribute a percentage, 60% uh, percent of the, the registration fees for DIT for female students. The problem is uh, post-service handling, as I've told you, because uh, that's where the losses are. But if they are given the, if they, they are skilled in post-service handling, I think that uh, mindset can ch easily change. The group is being skilled through funding from the Embassy of the Kingdom of Netherlands through the skilling in agripreneurship for increased youth employment project. The project has seen several women trained at different points in the country in the agrifabrication. However, there are calls for support when it comes to acquiring the capital intensive machinery to run the fabrication workshops. The SOE project is funded by the Dutch Embassy. We have had a relationship from 2000. Uh, from 2013 to date, uh, this is the third phase of a project that is targeting youth with uh, skilling intervention. Uh, this project is implemented by APSI Foundation in Uganda, but with the private sector, uh, with government institutions, that is education or skilling institution, and also ministries, department and ag agencies that uh, have relevant uh, policies uh, around which this project is built. The agrofabrication initiative is not only transforming the agriculture sector, but is also contributing to the empowerment and employment of young people in Uganda. Victor Taewa, 